Let's have a look at Archicad cameras. Cameras in Archicad are used to set up three-dimensional views. They're also used to create animations. Let's just have a look at one camera first. One camera is a single view and then when we multiply these cameras or add additional cameras, this is how we can create animations. Generally speaking, we want to, in order to see a small space in its entirety, be as far away or as closely tucked into the corner as possible. When we place a camera, let's do that again. We select the camera. We can change the height to what we want. Let's choose 18,000 just so that makes us about 1,500 above the ground. In this instance, you have to check your floor levels to determine what it is for you. The first time we click, we place the position of the camera. The second time we click, we place the direction of the camera. If both the base and the target are set up at the same height, it means we're looking horizontally. And therefore, the length between the base and the target doesn't matter. Another hint when we're placing multiple cameras, don't place them end to end because it just makes it very difficult to pick up. Let's view what this camera looks like. Right click, view, show selection. And the problem that we have with our camera tool, let me just get rid of this layer because it's not supposed to be here. The problem that we have with our camera is that we can only see what it looks like in 2D until we open it in 3D. And that means we've already positioned it. Thankfully, what we can do is we can use our explore tool to change the orientation, change the position even, moving around, of where our camera is. And then when we're happy with our view, we can click, find the camera that we've been editing, right click, and say modify this camera to current view. This is something I only just learned recently, so there you go. And what that means is when we go back to ground floor now, our camera has changed position to now be where we saw it in 3D. So we can either, therefore, set up in 2D or in 3D, and we can still get the camera to look the way we want it to be. So that's one camera. The next time we place a camera, unless we put them on different paths, so here we see these are camera settings, different paths. As soon as we place a second camera, these cameras join, they link, there's a line that connects the two. When I place a third, we see that that line now connects all three, and so on and so on. Let's just delete these last few, just so we've got one camera. And this is the camera we want. Let's have a look at it one more time. If we're not happy with the settings of the width, we've currently got our camera set to 70 degree view cone. If I change that to 90, apply, we can see what happens. The arms of the camera increase. It widens our view cone. It means that we can see more, but that's unrealistic. And it changes the concept or the, the understanding of the space because it's now making it wider than it naturally should be. So we need to make sure that if we're going to cone, we're not doing it at the expense of making the space now unreal, unbelievable. I forgot that time before I finished. I want to go to my camera. Again, one more time, modify this camera to current view. And now when I go back to ground floor, it will have changed orientation. And that's it. That's the start of our cameras.